my channel. So if you guys have been following me on Twitter, you know that I have been absolutely raving about Clinique makeup products. Recently, I have just been obsessed with their line. In my last tutorial, I asked you guys if you wanted to see like a one brand and pretty much every single comment was requesting a one brand. So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial using all Clinique products and I'm really, really in love with their products. I think they are super high quality and they last all day long and they look absolutely beautiful on the skin. So actually this entire look is actually inspired by the Clinique lip products that are coming out in February and they have variation of tones and textures and shades which I think is really cool. And I did sort of like a Vixen inspired look so you can use this for like a winter ball if you are, you know, go into a winter box. I know a lot of people have that this time of year. Um, any sort of dancing sort of look that you guys might want to do. Um, I know some dancers can use looks like this. So does anything sort of dramatic, dance themed, I think would be a really fun event to wear this to. Of course you guys don't have to wear this to a dance, but it's just sort of why I created the look and kind of the inspiration behind it. But you guys can obviously wear this to whatever occasion you want and please tweet me pictures if you guys try it all out. And also if you guys use any Clinique products, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite is because I'm going to have to run out and grab them because I am obsessed right now. So if you guys want to figure out how to get this look, then keep on watching. So starting off with the Clinique Even Better Makeup Foundation. I've been really, really loving this foundation lately. I apply this all over my face and this just really gives my skin a nice even look and it really evens out my complexion and I think the finish is absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with the Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer and I'm actually using this just to prime my eyelids. And this is just so that my eyeshadow doesn't crease and so that it lasts longer and also so that the colors just look a little bit more vibrant. And then I'll just be setting that with some powder and this is the Clinique Obviously Almost Powder Makeup. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous powder. It just smooths out wherever you put it and I just love the look of it on my skin. I'm a big fan of it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this Clinique Eyeshadow Quad, and it's in the shade Going Steady, number 10, and we're gonna do a cut crease smoky eye today. So I'm gonna take this gray shadow, and I'm just going to lightly map out where I want my crease to be. Oops, sorry, I should probably turn off my phone. I'm just lightly mapping out where I want my new crease to and then once I have the look that I like of the crease, I'm going to take this darker purple and just go right over top of that gray tone to blend it up and out towards my eyebrow. You want to blend up and not down. You definitely want to keep all these crease shadows above the new crease that we just made. It's going to look messy until you finish the look, so don't let that freak you out. It's okay if it looks sort of weird and alien-like. It really doesn't come together until the lashes and the brows go on, so just bear with me for a little bit. So just layer that purple right over top of that gray, and then after you have that darker purple, we're gonna go in with this lavender shade and just blend the top of that out so that it's all buffed and seamless. And this does get kind of light, and I also like to just have it nice and defined. So what I like to do is I like to go in with the cream shaper for the eyes in the shade Black Diamond and I just go right where I put that gray in the crease just to furthermore define it. And this is the layering process. If I were to do this step first, it could get kind of messy and it could be kind of hard to manage. So using the shadow first and then going in with the cream liner is definitely going to make it a lot easier. And then I'm just gonna repeat the steps that I did. So I'm just gonna put the gray shadow right over top of the black liner that we put down and then I'm gonna put the purple over top of the gray to blend it up towards my brow and finally finish off with that lavender shade blending up towards my brow. Now I'm just going to go in with this light pale pink shade. It's like a pinky pearlescent white and I'm putting this all over the lid just to furthermore define the crease and also make it stand out and give it a little kick of shimmer in there. It's absolutely beautiful. You can totally put a base down if you want. I just wanted to keep it light and airy by not putting a base down. I'm going to go back in with that cream eyeliner and here I'm going to make a cat eye and this is also where the look really begins to come together or the eyes really sort of, you know, start to come together. So I first just line my upper lash line with that cream eyeliner. Then I grab a brush so that I can do the wing and have it very precise. So this is just an angled brush and I just grab the eyeliner that's on the brush and I just begin to make my wing by flicking it out and then connecting it from about the like 1 16th or like 15 16th marks of the wing. Does that make sense? And connect it back to my upper lash line. And that's just a really, really easy way to make a wing and it's using that 
um, pencil liner, but I'm just using it on a brush. It's a very creamy, beautiful texture. I absolutely love this liner's formula and the blackness and the intenseness of it. But also just to amplify the crease a little bit more, I just sort of connect where the crease and the liner meet with the pencil one last time, blend it out with the gray, and finally again with the purple, and then my crease shadow is complete. Now I go back in with that line smoothing concealer and this is going to double as my highlight and it's also just going to clean up that shadow. So I just put this right underneath the brows and this is also why we didn't do the brows because you can see that I'm kind of being messy and just throwing it up into my brows. So that acts as a highlight but now I'm also going to go in and fill in my brows. Today I'm using the super fine liner for brows in the shade Deep Brown. This is a pencil. Um, I really like this formula. I think that it is very rich and creamy and easy easy to blend out and it also mimics the like or mimics the stroke of hairs which when I use a brow pencil is always what I look for so this passed my approval I really like it and now after my brows are done I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara and just throw this on my upper lashes to give them a little bit of something this mascara does make my eyelashes look really, really bomb and amazing, but I always like to go in with a little pair. So just slap on a pair of false eyelashes if you want, or you can keep it just with the mascara if you choose to. So whatever you guys want to do there, just do what you want. Now this is the All About Eyes Concealer. So this I'm putting specifically underneath my eyes. It's super high coverage, and it looks amazing on the under eyes, you guys. It doesn't crease. Um, if you set it, it doesn't crease, and it just is super high coverage, and it really brightens up that area. So I'm applying this underneath my eyes, and then because this is high coverage and kind of thick, I always like to switch it back to the Line Smoothing Concealer just to highlight the rest of my face so it's not cake face all over, um, because that concealer is so high coverage and so thick that you kind of have to be careful. This is the uh, Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour and Curvy Contour. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I have not stopped using it since I got it. I contour cheekbones, forehead. Now I just go in and I blend this out with the foundation brush. It has a little leftover foundation on it, so it makes that chubby stick blend out absolutely beautifully. I also like to go in with a beauty blender to blend out my concealer and my nose contour as well. Then I go back in with that pressed powder, and this is in the shade Light, and I set anywhere that I highlighted with this, so underneath my eyes, on my nose, forehead, underneath my contour, chin, cupid's bow, you know, all the hot spots that we're trying to highlight here. And then I go in with the True Bronze Pressed Powder Bronza in the shade Sun Blushed, and this is a very warm tone. But for this look, I think it works since the eyes are rather cool and icy. I kind of wanted to warm up the face a little bit. So I'm just putting this wherever we put the chubby stick just to set that as well as give me additional warmth. Moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take that cream eyeliner and just line my waterline to make it nice and black and intense and also connect the false lashes to my upper lash line. Then I go back in with that gray tone shadow that we use and I smudge this down. These two blend and smudge together like a dream. They blend like no other. It is beautiful. I love the combo. I'm just so obsessed with the lower lash line. Just look at that. Look how beautiful it turned out. I don't think it could have came out any better. I just love how smoky this is and how sultry and it's just so beautiful. So I just love it. And then I go in with the Clinique Lower Lash Mascara. This is so bomb. I've been using this mascara for as long as I can remember. It's my go-to for my lower lashes. It just really finishes off the eyes. Going back to cheeks, I'm going to first highlight with this white shimmery shade and this is the defining pinks cheek contouring palette so like i said i'm just highlighting with that shimmery white and then i'm going to go back in and mix together the two pinks and put those on my cheeks just to give me a little bit of color i'm kind of going easy with the blush here so that i don't overpower the eyes so now time for the star of the show i'm going to go in with lips so the first thing that I'm going to go in with is this lip liner and I'm first going to be lining my lips and this is just really important just so that the lip product that I'm about to use next will stay on my lips and just have a little base to go, you know, go into and I'm also going to be contouring my lips just to make them look a little bit bigger. And then after that is on I'm going to go in here with the Clinique Peace Pop 
lip color and primer. I love this, love this, love this. And also, if you guys want to see anything else that's really cool, this um, lip look and this whole makeup look was actually inspired by the new interactive lip pop video from Clinique. I'm going to have a link to it down below, and you guys can see how they bring their lip colors to life in four ways in an interactive music video. It's actually really, really cool, and I highly, highly recommend you guys go check it out. I'll have a link to it down below. Thanks again so much all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I definitely want to see your transformations and your recreations of this look, so please be sure to check out the link in the description box. I love you all so much, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.